Hey everybody, it's the Suspy Scouter, and in today's video we're talking about the Scout Uniform. Hey everybody, welcome back, it's the Suspy Scouter, and in today's episode we're talking about the Scout Uniform. Now the Scout Uniform is one of the eight methods of scouting that we use to deliver the program to our scouts. Now before I go any further in this video, I want to make clear that I'm not bashing anybody's program, I'm not talking about bad on anybody's decisions when it comes to the Scout Uniform. However, the Scout Uniform is just that. It's a uniform. There's one full and complete uniform that everybody is expected to wear. And I think it's our jobs as leaders to demonstrate what a full and proper uniform is to our scouts. Now, at least once a year, I like to hold a uniform inspection with all of my units, whether that's Scouts BSA or Cub Scouts. And a lot of times I started off by asking the scouts how they feel about somebody who wears just a half a uniform. Now I say, have they ever seen a police officer wearing half a uniform? Have they ever seen their favorite sports player just wearing half a uniform? And usually the scouts will respond with no, that they haven't. So then I ask them, how many of you guys play sports or do any kind of other extracurricular activity that involves you wearing a uniform? Now a handful of scouts will throw their hands up and admit that they do something else besides scouts and I think that's fantastic. But then I'll ask them, have you ever shown up to play the game wearing only half of your uniform? Now again, we're not here and we're not trying to belittle any scouts or to call any scouts out, but we just use the uniform as a tool to reinforce all the different methods of scouting. We wouldn't give our scouts half of an outdoor program or we wouldn't allow our scouts to have half communications with adults. But with all that being said, we're not gonna go and call the uniform police. Did somebody call the uniform police? N no. No, we, we didn't call. Okay. All right, Scouters, I wanna share with you a little tool that I use on days that we do uniform inspection. Now, I usually start the meeting off wearing a coat or a sweater over my uniform, and I'll ask the Scouts, how many of them think it's okay to just wear half a uniform? After getting, you know, mixed results and mixed answers from the Scouts, I'll take off the coat to show them this. All right, Scouts, I got my half uniform on. What do you think? Nobody ever said which half of the uniform I had to wear. So this is a little piece that one of my patrol mates during Wood Badge sewed up for me. It actually is two separate shirts uh, sewn together. You can see down the back here. One of them is long sleeve. The other one's a short sleeve Hawaiian shirt, but it always gets such a great reaction from the scouts and from some of the parents when this thing comes out and we can talk about which half of the uniform is acceptable for wear. Now the idea of the uniform is to give a scout a sense of belonging, that they belong to something, to this greater world brotherhood of scouting that they're all involved in. It takes away any signs of class or religion or race or anything like that. Everybody should just see green and tan. It's a way for them to show off a little bit what they've accomplished and what they've earned in regards to rank. It gives them a sense of pride, being part of a specific council and a specific unit. It also gives them a sense of pride belonging to their patrol and helps build the patrol spirit when they wear that patrol patch on their right arm. Now again, the purpose of this video wasn't to belittle anybody who doesn't utilize the full uniform in their program. I've had plenty of situations where scouts show up in anything but a full and complete scout uniform, and trust me, we're just happy that they still show up and that they want to participate in the program. One time, I had some ill-advised committee members who were getting ready to present a scout with the Board of Review. The scout showed up and didn't have the full and complete uniform on and was actually scared and concerned that they wouldn't get a fair and complete Board of Review because they weren't wearing the full uniform. Now we made sure to address that with the committee members and with the scout, but there's a certain stigma that surrounds the scouts. In one of my other videos, the rank requirement review talked about how scouts have this mindset that they have to travel to and from activities in the uniform. The uniform is a very powerful tool at our disposal. All right, scouters, so what about your unit? Are you a full uniform unit? Are you a waist up unit? Do you accept jeans? Hey, that's great. You're still out there and you're still scouting. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of uniform you expect from your scouts. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you see when I upload a new video. If you like what you saw here, share it with a friend, send them my way. Now don't forget to keep it simple, make it fun, and we'll see you at the next one. This is the Sespi Scouter, saying goodnight. <laughs>